Okay, morning folks. Uh, welcome to the briefing on Tuesday the 21st. Um, September's the month that keeps on giving, really. It's yeah. been some nice days. Um, high pressures clinging on here, back to the west. A couple of days' time, those fronts slowly creep down over us. So make the most of it today and tomorrow. Um, you can see you've got a sort of flow round here and, and then a northerly flow down across the country, and it's, it's light large spacings between the isobars so um, certainly not strong winds pressure's reasonably high out in the atlantic so you know, it's looking quite good quite stable weather pattern um, and you know should give a, a reasonable day what it is bringing in unfortunately is this sort of bands of cirrus and you'll see that in a, in a minute on the um sat picks so taps today uh three 310, three knots. Yeah, at the moment it's light northerly on the airfield. Um, it's going to be that way most of the day, I think, um, considerably lighter than yesterday. And good viz, you know, few at three and a half. That seems to sort of tie in with the soaring forecast that I've seen. And it says this is farm for a tempo between sort of seven and nine, reduced visibility. There's bits of fog about in places around the country, but nothing around here. Um, so, you yeah. know, quite good on the task when they're nice and short like this it's always good news upper winds yeah again not strong eight knots on another forecast i saw not quite northerly but almost 340 that says 300 five knots here you could go with that five to eight knots at flying heights be about right now we come on to the sat picks uh, as you can see the visual or the visible sat pick is showing also these lines of sort of cirrus coming down I'm going to cut the sun off a bit um, but i don't think it'll affect the conditions too much uh, across the country certainly temperatures building over us quite nicely and out to the west uh, two points are a bit higher up, up to the north and temperatures not going up quite so quickly so prop that's not the best place to go. And just a quick look at the, the infrared. You can see swirling around here is this, this sort of thicker cloud and the upper cloud. The bright white stuff is a high cloud above freezing levels. So it is fairly high today. Temperature wise, though, BBC and um, both the forecast here seem to sort of match the same. Like 21 degrees um, should be about right for today. Um, you know, that won't be till you know, very late in the afternoon, I suspect, but temperatures building quite nicely already. Two points um, over us, there are about nines at the moment, eights and nines out to the west and up to the north, anywhere between sort of 11 and 12 in the center of the country here. The dew points here are going to remain a little bit higher than, than over us and out to the west. And so plugging those numbers into the soundings, that's quite a, a reasonable looking sounding for sort of one o'clock in the afternoon. I think probably three and a half above sea level by that time. And then as you go th through the afternoon again, 20 degrees should give you, you know, probably three and a half above Lasham, hopefully, so 4,000 feet above sea level. Cloud tops, so it's showing a, a, an inversion there. There is a little bit of inversion on the actual. So there could be a little bit of spread out. Certainly, I think more risk of that further north you go, less risk to the west. Um, and you can see that small inversion on the um, the actual Lark Hill this morning. It's going to take about 14 degrees to break that inversion here and give us some reasonable soaring. Um, but then by the time we get to sort of 20 degrees, you should have 13, 1400 meters in here above sea level. So three and a half thousand feet above Lasham, hopefully. Um, today and top meteo seems to align with the same sort of picture. It should, the, the blue stuff here is showing the uh, the high cirrus. If you play through the, the morning, clouds 
uh, between 11 and 12 o'clock starting to pop up and cumulus in the area out to the northwest of us uh, bits have spread out which i think will be about in places not necessarily going to see any here perhaps further north and the light blues are just showing the cirrus uh, all day bbc was showing the same cloud bubbling up by midday and a sort of more cumulus or fair weather cloud as they described it in this area here from sort of cambridge towards us um, probably blew out towards the northwest by early to mid afternoon and thermal heights certainly by hopefully 11 to 12 it should be going they're showing uh, 3,000 feet by that time, but certainly by early afternoon, 11, 1,200 meters, 1,300 meters in places. So should be fairly reasonable in an area. Up past Oxford, out towards the northwest and certainly out to the west. Look quite good with hopefully, fingers crossed, the temperature goes right about three and a half above, above Lasham late afternoon. Suggested distance and direction for top meteo are, are really anywhere up to Oxford and out to the, the west. Um, with the northerly wind, just be aware that it's likely to come in and wipe out the, the sort of Somerset levels area, so not too far to the west. But it should be good for hopefully, fingers crossed, a couple of hundred K. I think we did a few hundred K yesterday. Mm, yeah. So should be the same. Um, day will still go on till five o'clock, I would have thought. So if it gets going at about 11 to 12 o'clock, you've got four to five hours of good soaring. So fingers crossed for a, a reasonable day. Airspace wise, it actually is quite quiet compared to the last week or so. Um, area 14 is just Southampton's hours of operation. Nothing to worry about there. 16 is clay pigeon shooting just north of Boscombe down. 17 is the Salisbury Plain danger area crossing service not available and you've got paragliding number 18 there just around the Westbury areas paragliding number 13 down here is paragliding paragliding um, 24 is the Fairford ATZ activated and really that's about it to be honest folks it's quite quiet in terms of airspace um, operationally we're going to go on 27 it'll be a normal setup um, so far, I've only received one flight plan from 2EE. It's 11 o'clock. Well, having everybody on the runway for us. Yeah. <laughs> so basically, don't come to the runway until you want to actually launch, folks. Um, otherwise, we'll, we have quite an exercise when we've got to clear 20 gliders off the runway and there's a jet movement. So jet, jet movement notified for 11 o'clock uh, today. And maybe a late one. After. Okay. Uh, we'll see how that one goes um, apart from that should be a nice day and we will see you out there there's no evening group tonight so uh, unfortunately we have to pack all the gliders away in the hangar when we finish flying tonight right i suggest you head out to the hangar and start getting things uh, out and di'd and ready to go folks and i'll see myself and jordan will see you out there shortly <laughs>